Welcome to another commentary done by Davey. We're going to have a black screen because I did not update the score. So score now updated. Goes back to black screen. Comes back up. Upper left hand corner we got Bonnet starting as the brown protest. Bottom right hand corner we got DeWalt starting as the midnight green. I wonder what they call this. Marine green? I should look. I also blank on what the colors are named. I should be more observant is what it comes down to. Should be more observant. One more black screen by the way. Um, games tied one apiece. It's been really, really fun. Very, very fun. Cross positions once again, which has made some ugh, really, really fun games overall. Some pausing and restarting. I'm also wondering like how long it took them to play these, because... So there was some comment in Twitch chat in between of like, how long has this game been running? Like, I... I, I do believe it will hold the record for the longest continuous Brood War tournament. Honestly, it might be the longest continuous video game tournament of all time period anywhere. Like, I don't know that there is one that has gone on like this. Like, where it was just one single tournament, not like a qualifier or whatever thing, but like, legitimately the tournament was being played that entire period of time. Uh, gateway, by the way, to the right-hand corner, which suggests we're going to see potentially tech Four gateway from Bonneth. We'll see if he goes for uh, two gate potentially. I, I think not actually. After DeWalt followed up with that one DT pressure play, he is going to go for cross scout this time, it looks like, which maybe that's going to be double gate. Cross scout makes me think this is going to be double gate. Yeah, okay. There's the, the two gateway there off the cross scout. And that and now my question is, is does Bonneth, he still has an opportunity to cancel one of those gateways if he wants. He loses some resources, but could gain some time in other spaces. Cybernetic score morphed in gas online. He does have also the opportunity to drop some mana pylons and other things, but it looks like we are going to see an immediate gas. So we're seeing an immediate gas drop before those uh, two zealots are even queued up. So it's not even an evaluation of when to drop the gas. It's like, okay, we're just going to send the three zealots and drop gas otherwise. Upper right hand corner scouted DeWalt making his way. Bottom left, he is getting that preventative, uh, preventative zealot out. Dropping a pylon near that nexus, and that might be to... Well, I, I would be speculating here. We'll see. As far as the purpose of that. Uh, Cybernetic scores up. Should see Dragoon first. And as long as he does that, yeah, he's going to be A-OK. -okay. We have one Zealot and no additional Zealots. Okay, I like this adjustment from Bonneth. And we saw this in previous matches, and I like it here. So rather than... He's like, okay, this is cross positions... I'm not going to be able to execute it, so let me just move back in a little bit on delay a two gateway opener, and I wouldn't be shocked to see two gate robotics or two gate expand here from Bonneth as kind of the, the recovery option. In the meantime, Manor Pylon as a target of opportunity for Bonneth. I think it's worth the th it is worth the 33 euro resources. I don't know that it's worth completing. Probes coming out. After getting the double shots and getting the assassination kill, that bottom probe, the vicious killer himself. Is it cannibalism when probes attack other probes? Cancellation, so Bonneth got his money back. And range also upgrading. The probe not able to breach. A second zealot was produced here. But I think this is more for defensive purposes to go ahead and press out. And as I say that, robotics is dropped. I was expecting... Uh, I'm still expecting two gate expand. From Bonneth, potentially. The Observer, or the Observer, the Probe gonna go ahead and make its way back out and maybe camp there to just scout things out. A Dragoon making its way forward to test the front. Yeah, just peeking in and he might even be able to see that Zealot up on the high ground and might have even noticed the, the two-gate play as far as a follow-up. And I'm wondering if this Robotics is in respect to DeWalt and that previous match where he did go for a DT follow-up in the face of this. The Dragoon face planning to see if there's a Dragoon there, confirms that there's a Dragoon, and now I expect DeWalt to go ahead and back off now that he's got that Nexus building on the way. And we'll see if it's one gate Robo follow, yeah, one gate Robo follow up here for DeWalt as well. Might want to go support bay first. Two Dragoons actually out. Oh, this could be a big victory for Bonneth. So the two Dragoons gonna be able to get certainly a lot of damage done, might even get a kill on this Dragoon. Let's see if DeWalt actually moves this to the top right rather than Back to his natural expansion. He's got two Dragoons. Oh, this is interesting play. He's moving his Dragoons out on the field. He's saying, okay, if your two Dragoons are being pulled out all the way this way, then I might be able to... Oh, no! This is going to... 
be disaster play though, because the Dragoons got a little bit spread out along this uh, fiddlesticks. If you play League of Legends, doodad, right there in the middle. Was this... Was that a tribute to Fiddlesticks? Somehow? Because League of Legends was out around that time. So Bonneth going to go ahead and drop a natural expansion of his own. It's going to come out quite a bit later. We do see a second and third gateway with the observatory to follow. Rather than the support bay here from DeWalt. So right now, supply lead, but worker... Uh, but but uh, sizable mineral advantage for DeWalt because he's got this natural expansion up and more fully saturated. But supply just about dead even. I would tech lead slightly. I don't think it's in either favor, honestly. I think range. Did DeWalt start range yet? It's a piece I missed. I think he did start range. And I just missed it completing in the midst of this. So yes, I'm pretty sure that that uh, that finished. Also, chat thinks it might be uh, the this guy might be the Phoenix or Tassadar, but he's got like the weird hood thing and like weird hands going on. He looks like a a tree, like a treant sort of thing, which is where anyway. Let the comments on YouTube decide what it is, and probably name it something wildly different. Observer is making the way across. They are going the observer out a little bit earlier from Bonnet. Does Dewalt seat so? Might have seen that Observer making its way out. DeWalt moving a probe out to go ahead and drop a pile on there at the 3 o'clock, which will give Bonneth forewarning. Second gas getting grabbed pretty quick here from DeWalt. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a quick transition into High Templar tech. Second Observer out. And it is getting picked off pretty quickly. Not as a... Yeah, because uh, that gas is there for a reason. Second gas also getting dropped here from Bonneth. He, also, he does have the robotics up, that first Reaver out, and second Reaver queued up. He's playing it defensively, even though he's slightly economically down. Three worker lead here from DeWalt. And Dragoon's now making the way to the natural expansion. This attack fort, so they're going to wander up to try to take out that pylon. They might be trapped. So they got high ground advantage here, which is interesting. The So small win here for Bonneth. But does he, with that Zealot marching its way up able to push them back. So is it... Yeah, it's going to be a Dragoon for a Pylon. Which still... So, 100 resources for 100 and... And some gas. And also some additional damage done on troops. So this is not working out for Bonneth. Yeah, overly risky play here. But it does give him a good idea that he's up against... Uh, the one... It gives him some scouting information that he's up against 3-gate. So, 4th gateway up. We are seeing a Templar Archives... And Citadel of Adun behind this. Are we going to see... So we got two additional gateways dropping. And a fifth gateway. And a sixth gateway dropping. For Bonneth off the double base. To try to equalize things. He's getting shuttle speed as well. He's already got a Reaver in that shuttle. And a good amount of gas. But DeWalt with that 10 supply lead. Wanting to get aggressive. Now keep in mind he doesn't have a Reaver. So he needs to... So that Observer is going to be huge. As far as being able to spot. When that Reaver is... Poking in and poking out. DeWalt going to go ahead and back off, however. Recognizing that, so he doesn't want to challenge that Reaver on the field. This creates an interesting scenario, depending on when the attack comes out from Bonneth and when Sidestorm and the High Templar are fielded from DeWalt. Like, six gateways is a lot of units, but if your Reaver and your Dragoons are sitting under Sidestorm, that will equalize things dramatically, and DeWalt is already at a supply lead. So I'm wondering, once Sidestorm's finished... Once Bonneth is making his way out with the gateway differential, if the supply lead will... Well, first of all, it looks like DeWalt tacking on a bunch of gateways himself. I think he's going to stage up and just get a padding of supply. This is kind of interesting. I would expect him actually to keep the gateway count a little bit lighter rather than going up to the full eight with the High Templar out in the field, which leads me to believe he's going for more of a kill, kill attack here. And he's going to try to have some Psy Storms blanketing that natural expansion in a little bit. And try to negate the Reaver because Reaver unfortunately cannot... Reaver and Shuttle dodges Dragoons. It does not in fact dodge Psy Storm. The Shuttle speed helps with that, but does not negate it. But DeWalt also dropping some additional Photon Cannon. So I'm wondering if this is going to be an interesting plus one 
Psy Storm timing that I'm going to be honest, a little bit unfamiliar with. We have a, a cannon at the main, the 12 o'clock getting blockaded with a pylon, and DeWalt now cycling his way around as that leg speed and plus one weapons are slightly on the way. He does it. As I say that, he is moving a probe here to the six o'clock location, so ignore that. So I think that, never mind, DeWalt just getting the, the infrastructure down ahead of dropping the Nexus. It looks like he might pause and drop the Nexus instead. A shuttle breaking off. Still not 100% at this stage. The armies have actually not spotted each other. So the shuttle getting caught, Boneth making his way back. Is he just going to dive actually at the, the main? And this is actually, this could work very well in DeWalt's favor because keep in mind, he has a glut of gateways to provide reinforcements, at which point Boneth would end up sandwiched. The High Templar there drops a whiff of a side storm, however. Second side storm hits a lot, catches a lot of that shuttle and catches that Reaver. So they're wiped out. And plus one weapons is going to finish in the middle of this fight. I'm going to keep an eye on that Dragoon in the space of this. So closer reinforcement point for DeWalt. Some side storms in the midst of it. Zealot leg speed is done on both edge. The High Templar do get picked off. And plus one weapons actually just finishes. And now Boneth in retreat. And at the end of that, behind in supply, De with that engagement, the Nexus dropped. DeWalt recognizing, hey, I ended up with a better position there and an overall army win. Thank you, K-7, by the way, for the Prime. I appreciate it. Out on Twitch land. So now... If Boneth is going to go and try to take a additional Nexus in the midst of this. I wonder if he's going to attack. Has he already tacked on? Yeah, he's going to tack on additional gateways himself. He's actually going up, uh, so eight, nine. So I presume with the nine gateways, this is overproduction, I think. So I think he's going to wait until he has a little bit of padding and try to clear out that 12 o'clock. That pylon is going to give forewarning to DeWalt that that base is getting grabbed. I could see DeWalt making motions that direction. And he's currently threatening towards the front. Some High Templar morphing in the midst of this. And DeWalt just taking some pot shots and honestly, yeah, dissuading Bonneth from grabbing an additional base. Recognizing he has the High Templar advantage, walking out to sea. So that attack I was anticipating earlier, now coming in. Bonneth trying to spread what he could. Plus one weapons, it on both sides, by the way, is finished. Nice army split on Bonnet, so he has to engage from two directions. He also has the Reaver now making his way in to support. I don't know if this is going to be a breach or not. Right now, it's a sizable supply lead from DeWalt, but keep in mind, a lot of those reinforcements have to come across the map to get anything done. Another High Templar making its way in and getting some additional blanketing side storm. And the Zealot's continuing to careen in and engage a lot of this. So DeWalt, now that he has reinforcements, is he going to continue to commit? Or is he going to be content to recognize that he's been able to delay a third base while his third is up. It looks like he just wanted to engage and reset that army count for Bonneth where he doesn't feel comfortable grabbing a third while a third is being established. Also, that critical Calderon amulet coming online for DeWalt, which means when he peeks out, yeah, and he's just making sure additional bases haven't been grabbed anywhere. So Bonneth sitting on two bases. The clock is ticking. He's got nine gateways. And actually, he's producing out of all nine. So I guess I was wrong. I thought eight gateways was the max. Was still producing with robotics. I guess nine gateways is still viable, but this is max production. Point being, this is about as much as you can produce in throttle. So now everything moving up to the 12, there's the pylon there. DeWalt knows it's coming and he's already got this Nexus up to six o'clock. He's got a five worker lead. Oddly enough though, yeah, he was behind on gateways. He's tacking down to go ahead and make his way to the higher gateway count. Still has a sizable supply lead and also staging all his troops maybe to crash into that 12 o'clock location. The Observer gets picked off mid-map. DeWalt wants to force a fight here. Dark Templar in the midst of this as well. The High Templar looking for targets to Psy Storm. And DeWalt doing a good job of mirroring this. He's going to go ahead and send the Dark Templar up to the 12 o'clock. That is actually a big win. Because that's going to delay that Nexus even further. Now Bonneth has to take out the 6 o'clock and establish an additional base. I don't see that happening. Additional Psy Storm on the shuttle, softening it up. And a lot of Psy Storm on the forward army. However, Bonneth able to catch 
that army mid map so he actually wins that engagement bond looks like dewalt was a bit distracted and a bit scattered rather than having concentrated army and keep in mind he was running off nine gateways but there's still more side storm at home base to work with the zealot staging a little bit too far forward was there a weapons upgrade advantage i don't think so in the midst of this more high templar just getting free side storms to soften a lot of this up the reavers without the shuttle making their way forward so a reaver advantage here from bonneth is dewalt going to be able to hold here he's going to move up the ramp expended a lot of side storm bonneth with a massive supply lead all of a sudden after all those engagements the workers actually flooding out this still makes it two base versus two keep in mind with those workers flooding out so dewalt can still re-macro make his way back down and end up in an okay position in the midst of this but bonneth needs to wipe this nexus out and keep this nexus while he grabs that third to get back into it five supply differential here or he needs to, to take out the six o'clock dark templar has made his way in able to wipe out a reaver in the midst of that which is a big hit to a lot of the the damage and bonnet split off some troops to the six o'clock there are already cannons there however and dewalt now going to be able to clean up this pull a caesar and clean up one portion of the attack force and then the next and Bonneth effectively all in at this stage. And lost that forward army. He just built a slew of High Templar, by the way. We got eight High Templar queued up behind this. And so he needs some Miracle Size Storms, the natural expansion being rebuilt. And also the three o'clock location getting constructed. So DeWalt, not content with just one base up, is going to go two bases up to cap it. And a bunch of Archons morphing in. Archons do pretty well against Sidestorm, I will say. I don't even know that... Did Bonneth... Was Bonneth able to upgrade Sidestorm? I'm wondering if he missed the Sidestorm upgrade. And is just building Archons to try to negate that advantage. A few troops getting caught out here mid-map. Shuttle making its way back. Is he going to scoop up a Reaver? Scoop up a Reaver to rejoin this fight. Doing a good job again spreading to mitigate... To make sure it's just not one big bulk side storm that you can crash down from two two positions. A zealot from DeWalt going to interrupt that worker that was hopeful there at the nine o'clock. A little bit of a whiff of side storm there from DeWalt. There's just a lot of bulk here on Bonneth's side with these Archons. 12 o'clock location getting built. Bonneth pulling back to that direction with the second base now online and operational though. DeWalt can just pump out a lot of stuff. Making his way to the 12 o'clock to try to shove his way in. He's got a 20 supply lead all of a sudden. Or I guess steadily more than all of a sudden. Our observer's been picked off. Reaver taking some damage. This is still a lot of arc on Sidestorm. Blanking it. And here's the thing. DeWalt doesn't have to get the best exchanges here. He can keep moving up. Oh, drop some Sidestorm. And that observer being huge for him. We can just drop the Sidestorm on the high ground and force Bonneth to come to him he can just keep pressuring all of this and eventually as long as this nexus remains unoperational especially with the main mount now mined out Bonneth is just not going to be able to keep up economically and these Archons have eaten so much size storm Dragoons have now made it to the high ground and I think that's going to be it DeWalt is going to take this match more size storm dropped Bonneth loses the Reaver and now it's just Dragoons versus everything latent and Zealots marching in not going to be able to hold. Well fought from top to bottom. There's GG. So Dwalt now up 2-1 over Bonneth. In Fighting Spirit Mania, set 3. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.